Some of you uh, have probably seen this on the road. Some of you uh, may have been lucky enough to actually drive in it or get a ride in it. Um, but I'm with Brian Mello and we're here inside Bermuda's one and only Bentley. Um, Brian Mello, you, you run uh, Latour limousines. This, this is your car. Um, just tell us a little bit about it, can you? It's a Bentley Flying Spur um, 2016 model. It um, has the highest end in all the finishes that they that Bentley produces. Um, it's all hand-stitched leather, interior, um, all the bells and whistles are in here. It's got massaging seats. Just, just so you know, Brian gave us a lift down here and uh, we experienced the massaging seats. I recommend them. Um, it's got a V8 engine, twin turbo. Um, it's a pleasure to drive. It, by far the nicest vehicle I've ever had the chance to drive. I don't suppose you've driven one like it, though. No, no, no. <laughs> Why is it such a pleasure to drive? Um, it, it holds the road so well. Um, and it, it's a big solid car and it, it's just the way they've designed it and the uh, you don't hear anything when you're driving it's just it's it's a big difference than my Nissan so <laughs> yes <laughs> it must be a bit odd when you've driven this and get back into your Nissan yeah it's 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 a big it's a big shock a big change but reality comes back real fast when you when you get back into your car the first time I saw this Bentley is when I was driving down uh, Harrington Sound Road and it was a, a dark night in winter and I just saw this black shape and it literally just went whoosh past me and I looked around and I couldn't figure out what on earth it was. You must get those kind of reactions a lot. Yeah, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of head turns when you drive down the road. Um, there was a lot of, when we, the first day that it came in, there was a, it went viral on the dock. It yeah. hadn't even, it hadn't even got off the dock and it was, it had gone viral that the Bentley was here. Um, there are other limos on the island, but this is by far the, the most luxuri luxurious one that's that's here. Um, so the overall reaction to it, uh, we got some quite a few looks, didn't we, as we were coming down here as well. We're at Tucker's Point. Um, the overall reaction is very positive. Yeah, um, people seem to think that it, well, it not seem to think it, it brings up the the look of the island. It puts that extra level of of class. On the top of the, it's a cherry on top of the cake, um, and people really, really respect that. Really, really like the fact that it's that it's happening. We, we, you said it's a pleasure to drive. I mean, it is big. Do you ever encounter any problems? Yeah, it's um, it's a wide car. Um, it took us an extra bunch of months to get it here because it was 0.6 of an inch bigger. Um, we finally got it, and and just driving it along, you're conscious, even though it's such a lovely car to drive because of the the cost of it and because of the actual um the size of it you're constantly worried about is that stone wall too close <laughs> um is that tourist on the bike gonna make it past me safely so you're conscious about all those decisions as as you're going along in it all every every day so it's it's as much as it is a luxury car and as much as it is nice to drive as the driver you're constantly doing risk assessments and yeah, thinking of what everything that comes along you with had you. to get your taxi license to drive this didn't you so i suppose a bit of extra training there yeah so you have to tcd put you through the taxi test and the limo license and all that that, that goes along with it and i know um tell me a little bit about your, your business because i know you've got a couple of other cars haven't you yeah latour limousines um has been in operation for about two years now um we have this is our our high-end option and we also have a, a bmw 7 series um, that we that we use as well. Yeah, but you've missed out the two favourites. My yeah, two personal favourites. They're they're not company cars. Oh, okay. They they belong to to one of the owners. Um, it's a MGB Classic Bermuda Royal Blue um, for the America's Cup. Um, Michael Douglas did his interview in it. Of course, that's right. Yes, I remember that. Um, and the other one is a is a classic 1947. I think it is uh, MGB TC convertible it's got the old uh, spoke wheels and the carriage lamp headlights so it's it's a very very nice car that uh, been refurbished and, and put back on the road as a classic car just um 
I'm going to be asking Brian afterwards if it's possible to do a little feature on those because they are absolutely stunning. And I have to say, I've got a personal interest because an MG is one of my all-time favourite cars. Last question, Brian, and I've, I've got to ask it because I imagine there's a lot of people out there who kind of want to know, who's been in the back here? Well, <laughs> Jeremy Deacon's been in the back. Uh, this is that was something you'll tell everybody about going yeah. forward. You'll go back and tell your kids tonight, um, I'm sure. We've had, we, we do a lot of work with uh, Rosewood Tucker's Point. And they have a lot of clients that come and, and utilize the services of the car. Um, Do you want name drop? Can you name we, drop? That's all we can say about you that. You can't name drop? No. No Hollywood A-listers? No Hollywood A-listers. No oligarchs? No, no royalty. No politicians? Royalty? Royalty politicians, I'll decline to comment on <laughs> anything on those, those, level, those lines. I have to ask. No problem. Thank you, Brian. That was really fascinating. No problem. All the best.